Hello students, welcome to your EBS class. Today we are going to learn chapter 16, Modes of Transport. Modes of Transport. In your first unit test exam, you are having three chapters. Chapter 1, Chapter 2 and Chapter 16. We already learned two chapters. This is the last chapter for First unit test. In olden days we used to travel by walking. But nowadays we use different modes of transport to travel. In this chapter we are going to learn about modes of transport. There are three types. They are land transport, water transport, air transport. After that we are going to learn about parts of vehicles, occupations in transport, noise and smog. As you know vehicles are very useful for us but they produce noise and smog. After that we are going to learn about emergency vehicles. There are three types of emergency vehicles. They are police van, ambulance and fire engine. We travel from one place to another for various reasons. We use different modes or means of transport to travel. We use car, train, bus, aeroplane and boat for traveling purposes. We use different types of vehicles for traveling. Modes of transport. There are three different modes of transport. There are three different modes of transport. They are land, water and air. Land, water and air. Land transport. Land transport means we use different types of vehicles to travel on land. To travel on land. Some of the vehicles that we use to travel on land are bullock cart, bicycle, cycle, rickshaw, scooter, motorbike, bus, car, truck, auto rickshaw, etc. In this picture, you can see different types of vehicles. Some vehicles are um, moving from one place to another with the help of engines. And some vehicles do not have engines. They are pulled by men or animals. Okay. Cycle, horse cart, camel cart, rickshaw, bullock cart. They are pulled by animals or men and another picture you can see bike scooter van auto rickshaw they all are driven by engines trains run on rails or railway tracks trains run on rails or railway track this is also a modes of transport that use on land. What do you mean by water transport? What do you mean by water transport? In that name itself we can understand that water transport means vehicles that are used to travel on water. Vehicles that are used to travel on water. Example, boat, sailboat, motorboat, ship. Boat, sailboat, motorboat, ship. These all vehicles that we use to travel on water. Here you can see some pictures of ship boat, okay, sail boat. Next is air transport. In that name itself we can understand what is air transport. The vehicles that we use to travel by air. The vehicles that we use to travel by air. Example, helicopter, aeroplane, hot air 
balloon okay and air transport is the fastest means of transport air transport is the fastest means of transport here you can see the picture of some air transports parts of vehicles parts of vehicles a vehicle consists of various parts a vehicle consists of various parts most vehicles run on wheels they have seats to sit on cars buses trains and aeroplanes have windows and doors aeroplanes have wings to fly in air and some vehicles have engines an engine makes a vehicle move from one place to another cars bus train ship aeroplanes are driven by engines parts of a vehicle the main parts of a vehicle are engine wheel seat windows and doors okay हम हमारे घर में जो व्हीकल है और जो व्हीकल में हम ट्रैवल करता है उसको अच्छे से देखना है और बताना है क्या 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 पार्ट्स है उस व्हीकल में आप लोग देख सकता है उसको व्हील्स है सीट है विंडोज डोर्स ओके एंड ज़्यादा व्हीकल्स हम यूज करता है वो इंजन से चलाते हैं ऑक्यूपेशन इन ट्रांसपोर्ट ऑक्यूपेशन इन ट्रांसपोर्ट there are many people who work to help us using different vehicles there are many people who work to help us to use different vehicles drivers sailors pilots loco pilots drivers what they are doing drivers drive a car or bus auto rickshaw and truck sailors sailors sail the ship sailors sail the ship pilots pilots drive the aeroplane pilots drive the aeroplane loco pilots loco pilots drive the train loco pilots drive the train noise and smoke noise and smoke vehicles are useful to us all vehicles are useful to us but most vehicles produce noise and release smoke it makes the air dirty it makes the air dirty vehicles such as bicycles and cycle rickshaw do not give out smoke we should use them to keep the environment clean we should use them to keep the environment clean we should prefer walking to places that are nearby we should prefer walking to places that are nearby jo vehicles jyada smoke and noise produce karta hai bicycle and cycle rickshaw स्मोक प्रोड्यूस नहीं करता है वो हमारी एनवायरनमेंट के लिए बहुत अच्छा है हमारे एनवायरनमेंट क्लीन रख सकता है वो यूज़ करने से जो छोटा छोटा डिस्टेंस ट्रैवल करने के लिए हम बाईसाइकिल एंड साइकिल रिक्शा यूज़ करना ज़रूरी है नहीं तो वॉक करना एमरजेंसी व्हीकल्स एमरजेंसी व्हीकल्स सम व्हीकल्स हेल्प आस वेन वी आर इन ट्रैवल some vehicles help us when we are in trouble such vehicles are called emergency vehicles such vehicles are called emergency vehicles vehicles help us when we are in trouble and such vehicles are called emergency vehicles they are ambulance fire engine and police van ambulance fire engine and police van ambulance an ambulance carries sick or injured person to the hospital 
an ambulance carries sick or injured person to the hospital a fire engine a fire engine a fire engine is used to put out the fire by firefighters a fire engine is used to put out the fires by firefighters next is police van a police van is used to by the police during patrol police van is used to by police during patrols it enables the police to reach the place of an incident quickly it helps the police to reach the place immediately emergency vehicles ambulance fire engine and police van are the emergency vehicle which are meant to help people in an emergency we can call national emergency number 112 or 112 in case of an emergency